Hi YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play Ion on the week on Mondays actually. <laughs> it's Saturday when I'm recording this, sorry. Um Okay, so as I mentioned the last time I played the Gunslinger, that we are going to be exploring um, the area where in uh, uh, as as Mo the Asmodee in Asmodee we are Asmodean and we're in Asmodee, but we're the area where we can actually get our own housing. Um, so you get a free studio apartment that's given to you um, uh, within the game. And um, if you happen to be a very wealthy Asmodian, uh, you can then also purchase actual homes. Um, although, from what I've seen with the homes, um, they're all basically studios. I mean, uh, with a studio apartment, you're inside a complex with lots of... I mean, it looks like it anyway. A, a complex with, you know, lots of other units and everything. Even though you don't get to see see your neighbors running in and out of their studios you you know you all get the same kind of view but it, and it's a small space and the homes themselves are standalone units that you can walk in and out of and you can decorate the outside of them um as well as decorate the inside but they're a single room you have to put up like dividers and stuff to make additional rooms so here we can see um, a tour of some of the different areas of the homes. Um, we've got the, the modest homes here. Um, then Aurora State's got ones that have the, the larger homes. And um, then there's Halcy Estate where you've got like the mansions. <laughs> So you've got the three different areas where you can get homes and stuff, and I guess if you're like a, a maxed a level player, and Try you're just running around earning Kina, which is the, the name of the, the in-game currency, hand over fist, then you know, why not throw it all on uh, onto buying and decorating a house? But I figured I might as well take advantage of the... Um, the studio apartment, if nothing else. It's free, they give it to you, um, and then there's a bunch of little quests and things where you can get things, and then you can you can buy furniture <laughs> to upgrade it and everything. And I'm guessing, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, going out on a limb here, I mean, there's, there's in-game, uh, a lot of in-game stuff you can buy with in-game currency, but, and I haven't checked the, um, the store yet, but I'm guessing that um, there's probably fancier furniture and things you can buy with real money for the game. Since so this is a free-to-play game, so they need to find ways of making money. Um, since you're not paying for the game and you're not paying for a subscription to the game, so they gotta have other ways of making money. And I'm guessing these houses and the furnishings and stuff is one way of doing it. Um, because it's probably very, very difficult to earn enough of that Kina to uh, to buy all this stuff in game, and so you're like, oh well, if you have, if you want to spend fifty dollars here, you know, or whatever. So at any rate, so here we are. This is um, the 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 modest village, but now we're gonna go over to where the studio apartments are. And one of the things I wasn't sure of was these um, uh, what look like cyclones. <laughs> And the thing I didn't realize until a little bit later in the game, oh yeah, and you can see I've got some more graphics issues in the in the game there. But one thing I didn't realize is that those um, those uh, cyclones actually help speed up my runtime. So there, it's kind of like a free speed boost. I got stuck there somehow. But yeah, it's a free speed boost, and I didn't realize it at first. Um, so I was kind of avoiding them, but here, even if you get close to them, it gives you a speed boost. And then I was checking out some of these other things here. We've got a ringa that I can't, um, essence tap, and, and rootless alpha, I can't essence tap, so uh, I'm just going to like this, skip all this, and just keep going. And, uh, we're gonna be basically setting up the studio apartment today and here more of my graphics issues you know I apologize I, I haven't gotten a new graphics card yet uh, eventually 
Um, so we're gonna set, set up the studio apartment first, and then there's a bunch of quests back in like the main central plaza area uh, that's in the in in the middle of the three different um, sun, ha housing areas. Uh, but I'm not going to address those this week. We will have to address those next week. Um, I ended up not editing a lot of this. Um, I, I kept a lot of the footage in just because I personally thought it was really interesting. I don't know how interesting of a video it is to watch. Um, but I actually kind of had a lot of fun with this. It's not as much fun as playing The Sims. Um, the day, set, setting it? up a house in The Sims is, I think... I think I think The Sims has got it down in terms of, of housing um, decoration that's it up and everything. But um, I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of cool. So here I get to choose wallpaper, um, and I think yeah I ended up with the red vertical striped wallpaper is what I chose. So unfortunately, you don't really get a chance to preview it before you choose it so you just have to like well I guess it'll look fine we'll see <laughs> all right so we're in uh, my studio apartment now see nice and empty and every house gets its own butler doesn't matter how low end you are you get a butler <laughs> because you know we are devas after all so we can't be expected to keep up our own homes <laughs> we're too busy saving um, you know, in this case, I'm too busy saving Esmode. <laughs> and of course, they've got a housing system um, on Ilios as well. And so I will probably do that with the Assassin. And you guys, if if you're still even watching this video, uh, you can let me know if I should um, record my apartment adventures in, uh, in Ilios as well. Because I can always just completely skip that. And, uh, and, uh, and just do it for, uh, for the gunslinger and everything. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to be setting up a, a studio for my, uh, my Elios character on Elysia. But, um, I don't necessarily have to post a video doing it. So, so here I'm kind of talking to the butler and trying to figure things out. And I'm like, okay, I've got the wallpaper. I'm like, how do I use it? Um, I'm like clicking on it. That doesn't do any do me any good. Um, it, it took me a little while to figure out because I wasn't paying that much attention to what I was reading. Okay, so I have to learn the skill. So I just learned a skill, and that's homeward bound. So that's basically, um, if I click on that, it automatically transports me to my studio, no matter where I am in world. And there, once I've transported to my studio, I can't transport back to where I was. So that's one, one thing to note um, of that. And then here's a residence manual, so you can uh, kind of read through that, which I didn't read through that carefully. But I did read some of it, obviously. So I was kind of looking through here and just kind of figuring out, so how does this all work? Maintenance costs are paid for by, you know. So at least with the uh, with the studios, it's it's like it's all free except for the furniture. Although um, I get to do a bunch of quests where I get to pick up a couple of pieces here and there, um, and then anything else that I want, I have to buy um, either with Kina or I'm like I said, I'm betting you that. There's some furnishings in the real world store too. I, I, I would be shocked if there wasn't. Oh, and if there's a visitor, I can kick them out. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alrighty. Okay, now I've got the my studio set to be only open to friends and Legion members. So if you're not a friend of mine, you cannot come in and visit my studio. Um, I don't know if the same thing is, is true with the houses, because I was able to, um, I, I was actually running around um, the Elios, um, or the Elysian version of these, um, with the homes and everything, and just checking it out, but I was too low level to uh, to do anything. There's, you have to be a certain level in order to, uh, to, to get the free studio apartment, I think level 20 or something, and she's not quite there yet. And so... She wasn't able, I didn't record um, any of that gameplay, but I was just kind of checking things out and running around and looking at stuff, and I was able to walk into any of the homes I wanted. 
Um, so I don't know if there's a way of, of locking homes or people just don't care. I mean, not that you can do anything when you're in someone else's house. I mean, it's not like you can control anything. You can't move anything. You can't steal anything. Um, so, I don't know. But I decided just to set mine to be private. So, okay. I wait for your so I just kind of played around with some of the settings. Now, um, there's a little house icon down below, which I is one of the things I didn't um, figure out right away. Um, that you have to click on the house icon, and that's what allows you to edit. Um, let's see, I'm just kind of moving stuff over into my uh, empty cube. I'm like, nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm like, how do I get the... How does the it just doesn't do anything. Um, and it, it, it like I said, it took me a little while I wait for your to, uh, to see that there's a little house icon. Um, and when I click on the house icon, so if it, uh, there's the relationship crystal, and so if you have friends, you can actually like hop um, around between friends' homes and that kind of thing. Every house has one. You can't move it. There we go. Now we're in edit mode. Okay, or decorate mode. Um, so I'm like, help. Okay, how does this work? <laughs> Okay, now that we're here, all right, so we got to register item. So we've got one item there, we got to register it. Okay. It recognizes it's in my inventory. And then, okay, now we can change the wallpaper. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, um, not necessarily my personal taste, but, yeah, it works. It's better than the bare walls. So uh, now uh, I think one of the things we've got a quest for is to, uh, yeah, you can see the nice view, kind of nice, lovely view, and then you can exit your studio um, through either one of these gates on either side. But uh, yeah, look at the nice view that we get from the studio. It's kind of nice. You know, and if you're a busy Deva, who has time to, you know, maintain a house and decorate it and all that stuff anyway? So I may or may not even get uh, one of the homes in the future. I might. I don't know. It depends on how expensive it is and etc. Oh yes, I love how Ion sometimes like you played for one hour. Please take a break. Um, that's because um, the footage that you saw two weeks ago and the footage you're seeing now was all recorded at the same time. Um, I'm just doing the voiceover uh, separately. So, all right, so we just kind of did that and we get a little bit more decorating. And I'm like, well, since we're here, so I got a plant um, for free. And now I'm like, well, since we're here, let's see, what can we buy? And you can see the, the costs of things. The plain stuff is cheaper than the strong rude wood stuff or tickle fiber stuff, <laughs> etc. But I decided to get a strong bed because I didn't want a plain bed. Um, I, I didn't go for the sophisticated one though because it's like way more Kina than I happen to have on me right now. <laughs> but I got myself a little plain, couple of plain chairs and, or actually I think I got a couple of strong chairs. Um, Cloth couch. I got a plain cloth cloth couch, and then I, I I need a table. Oh, I think I got a table. That's right. I got a free table, so I don't need a a, a table. But I got I got the fancier chairs, um, but I got the lower end couch, and it's not really a couch. If you, once you see me place it, you'll see it's more of an ottoman than a couch, really. But be that as it may. Okay, so we've got some some stuff. Let's go back. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying out the homeward bound key rather than going in through the front door just to see how that works. Like, okay, so it basically puts up a little um, portal that you can jump through. Okay, and boom, right back into the studio. Very nice. Turn in that quest. That works. Alrighty, and... Now we're getting into the 
edit mode again. And say, I'm figuring this out now. I'm starting to figure this out. Okay, so I gotta register all this stuff first. Okay, now we can place it. So I'll put in the bed first. Again, it's a studio apartment, so your bed and your 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 bedroom and your living room and your dining room and everything's all gonna be in the same place. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out how does this. There we go. All right. It's all kind of a plain looking bed in my opinion, but you know, all beggars can't be choosers. It's a little bit of an angle. It's like oh, it's straight. There we go. Get it straightened out a little bit. And and then I'm like, am I happy with where it's at? <laughs> you can see it turns red if it's you know um, in an area where you can't place it. So you can't put it too close to the walls. Like okay, fine. Okay, so the plain Tacoma dining table is what we got for free. So I'll just kind of put that there. Put the chairs with it. Yeah, turn the chairs around still, but oh yeah, the chairs are. Uh, you can't get them too close to the table, apparently. Especially if you want them facing the table, because I guess when you're sitting at the table, yeah, see, it won't let me turn the chair around um, to face the table because it's too close. Um, apparently, devas are big, and or well, I guess we can be big. Um, I made mine about as you know, I, I didn't make mine a super giant, but I made her pretty tall. Um, I don't know if it's taking that into account or just like just taking into account like how big a uh, like the max deva size could be. So that's too close. That's okay, we're just gonna place it right there. Okay, fine. <laughs> now we gotta move the other chair out of the way, turn it to where how we want it, and then see how close we can place it to the table. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> now I've got a little picture. I'm gonna hang that over the bed. And then here's the couch. And you can see what I said. It, ottoman, right? That does not look like a couch to me. That looks like an ottoman. But apparently it's a couch. <laughs> it's a cheap couch. <laughs> but, okay. So we've got some furniture now. Um... So I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, next week you'll see uh, me do a little bit more. I'm going to run around do some more quests in this area. Get some, some plants and some more decorating going on. And uh, and that's about it uh, in terms of what I can do around here. But there's a bunch of quests I can do and things. So I'm going to try and, and, and um, wrap everything up in terms of the housing stuff next week. And then get back to um, the more adventurous, adventuresome stuff um, after that. But thanks for joining me. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And until next week, take care. Bye-bye.